Chronicles of Riddick Assault on Dark Athena is made up of several different components. The shining star here is the slick retooling of 2004's Escape from Butcher Bay, the fantastic Xbox action title. The other single player portion is Dark Athena, Butcher Bay's sequel. It's a serviceable follow up, but it's cliched monotonous when compared to the original. The final piece of the puzzle is an interesting but uneven multiplayer suite that can be occasional fun, but doesn't stand out. Escape from Butcher Bay has been freshened up and it looks really good as a result. It does show its age in a number of ways, what with stiff character models, low definition textures, and some other oddities, yet the phenomenal lighting and shadowing smooths things out and a few games are this atmospheric as a result. You won't mistake the remake as a truly modern release, but you won't often be distracted by its graphical deficiencies either. You'll use a number of different gameplay devices to guide Riddick out of the prison. You'll start with just your fists, but eventually you'll be wielding melee weapons, assault rifles, shotguns, and more. Butcher Bay is incredibly well paced and almost five years later, just as satisfying. Assault on Dark Athena is the new story driven content and it takes place after the events of Butcher Bay. Visually, the sequel compares favorably to any current action game. The new character models are really expressive and the voice acting is absolutely fantastic. Sadly, the new gameplay just doesn't compare. As you explore the Dark Athena, you'll encounter a few strong personalities, but their stories aren't mixed in all that well. The conversations go on for way too long and result in tedious fetch quests that require some annoying backtracking. Don't worry about what I did for you. Worry about what I'll do to you. Most of Dark Athena seems contrived, which contrasts with the living world of Butcher Bay. You'll still lurk in the pitch black corners using your eye shine ability to see in the darkness and you'll gun down and slice up various enemies. Sadly, none of these elements are balanced well and the whole thing lacks spark. Nothing flows together, so the pace feels stilted, especially when you throw in the occasional environmental puzzle. It's just predictable. The multiplayer component gets the job done, but it isn't anything special. There are six total modes, though the two most interesting are Pitch Black and Butcher Bay Riot. In Pitch Black, one player sneaks around as Riddick while the others equip their weapons and flashlights and smoke them out. It's fun for a bit, but the novelty wears off in time. Butcher Bay Riot pits three teams against each other in a succession of rounds, letting you purchase weapons, armor, and ammo in between them like Counter-Strike. The PC and PS3 versions don't feature many people playing online though, and even on the Xbox 360, it's hard to find matches in certain modes. The Chronicles of Riddick Assault on Dark Athena is a great re-release of an amazing game, a mildly disappointing sequel, and a forgettable online experience. If you haven't played Butcher Bay, you should play it now. If you have played it, you'll be disappointed that the new content simply can't hold a candle to the old. Still, it's a good package with 15 hours of single player content that includes one of the finest games of 2004.